Hi guys, this is Jesse with Revolution Machine Tools. I'm standing here at our V-Genius 12250 to 250-ton press brake, 12 foot long. I'm going to do a demonstration to show you guys how to change out your 4.7 inch uh, four-way V-Dive. Uh, so I'll go through the programming and I'll also show you physically uh, how to get that to change. Changing at our 4.7 inch, uh, or changing our 4.7 inch four-way V-Dye starts at the control. I'm here in our manual tab, and in our manual tab, I'm gonna do a couple things to program a slow lift so that we can change this four-way V-Dye with the hydraulic system on the machine. So I'm gonna start off here. Um, one, I'm gonna start off by programming a small mute. If I program a one inch mute, it means that the, the ram will fall one inch and then it will go into its mute position and it'll go into a slow pressing in that, uh, in that position. After I program my one inch mute, I'm also gonna come and I'm gonna program the highest decompression stroke that I can program. So I'm gonna just enter in a high value, we'll say 10 inches. I'm gonna press enter and it should default at, let's see, let's do 12 inches instead. Oh, this one will do a 12 inch stroke too. Let's do 15 just to see. Okay, so this one will default, if you program, let's say 15 inch stroke, it'll default at the highest stroke that it can do, which is 12.5984 inches. So that's gonna give us a really slow lift on our decompression that will allow us to um, lift the bottom dive with the machine. Okay, so with my decompression and mute changed in the programming, I'm gonna press my green and C button to bring my machine online. And I'm gonna start by bringing my upper ram to the down position. Now you'll see in this, vid, in this demonstration, the machine will fast fall for about one inch and then it's gonna go into its slow press. The slow press is just basically um, allowing the machine to come down in a controlled speed um, and also allow me to come back up in a decompression stroke that will be controlled also. So I'm gonna bring it down, bring the ram down so that I can attach the chains that will allow me to lift this upper, I'm sorry, this bottom V-dive. So we're going to go through the stroke. As it starts to come up, I'm going to pause. I can pause at any point, really. So we're going to pause right there, and we're going to go ahead and attach these chains here on the side so that I can lift this bottom feed eye. So we're just going to go ahead and take these chains, put them on our... Um, chain lift points. You got a, a, a lift point here on your upper ramp and then you have a lift point here on your bottom V-die. Same thing on this side. Now you'll notice that I want to make sure that my chain is in the lifting point that it's not up on a bolt or off of the bolt uh, in this direction this way. So we want it to be centered properly on top and bottom and then as I continue this stroke it's going to lift that up for me so let's go back to the foot control and we're going to go ahead and lift that up now as we lift this just make sure that your hands and feet are clear the chain is going to support the weight and it's going to allow us to bring that up but essentially we're using the hydraulic system to lift this tool for us the end of our decompression stroke so I'm gonna open up the end here now you can see I've got my seven uh, 4.7 millimeter or 4.7 inch V die lifted by the chains I can at this point I can rotate that to the V die opening that I need to use whichever way I need to rotate it and then I'll be able to use the same stroke to set that down so that we don't have any issues with um, trying to manhandle it and we can use the hydraulic system to do the 
entire thing. Once I have the V die rotated to the position that I want, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my control. Bring our NC control on. I'm going to use the same control programming to set this V die down. Now when you're setting it down, because of the blocks in the back and because of the other um, supports that hold it, you may have to handle this a little bit. Um, but I typically handle it from the outside. I'll just push it a little bit just to see if I can get it to balance. Uh, in fact, most cases I probably won't even touch it. So let's go ahead and bring this down. So we're coming down in our slow pressing mode. It's controlled. And we're just going to set that tool right back onto the tool bed. Okay, once we're on the tool bed, we're going to be able to uh, remove our chains, set our, um, uh, set our uh, set screws here in the front. Um, that way we can hold it in the center position and we're ready to bend it. 